everybody. Let's learn how to tie a sagyo. Cut out a small piece of paper and wrap it around one end. You don't need tape. Then stick it through the hole. Place the sagyo through the hole. Fling down the fabric and making it even in length at both ends. Pull both ends in opposite directions, left side to the right, right side to the left. Bring the left side of the sagyo halfway around the braid cover. Using your thumb and index finger, pinch into a loop. Pick up some slack at the point where both sides cross and stick your loop through your new hole. Make sure your sagyo isn't twisting. Then going backwards, fold it against the sagyo and make a new loop. Then place this new loop to your hole, just like last time. Wrap it backwards one more time. Except this time, don't make a loop, just stick the end all the way through. Make sure the sagyo isn't twisting. Line everything up nicely. Make sure the loops you've created are as even as possible. Now take the extra slack you have, pinch it in half, and stick it through both loops. Now we can work on the right side. Bring the right side of the sagyo halfway around the braid cover. Using your thumb and index finger, pinch into a loop. Pick up some slack and stick your loop to your new hole. Now this time, take the left loop and insert it through the right loop. And you should have three nicely balanced loops in the center. Good job! Now do the same to make a fourth loop. Oh yeah, that's nice. And let's do it one more time for a fifth. This is fun! Now you are almost done. Finally, take your excess slack of sagyo, pinch it in half, and gently tug it backwards through all five loops. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Number one. Number two. Number three, number four, number five. We did it! And you should have a pretty ball on both ends. It's sure to impress the girls because everyone likes manly sword skills. Look at that! It's the kind of work any ninja would be proud of.